RC Tech Guy here. I uh, just wanted to uh, make another quick video. Uh, a little unit I picked up uh, last week. Actually, I got it delivered last week. And I've uh, been wanting to just make a quick video. I've been wanting, wanting an anemometer uh, for my RC flying. And, you know, because I, I really enjoy flying in the wind. Uh, I think it makes you a better pilot. Uh, helps you, um, you know, develop skills that otherwise you you can't develop. Unless you're on a simulator or, you know, whatever your choice is there. Um, but I enjoy it. So I, I like to see what the wind's doing. And even regardless, if you don't like to fly in the wind uh, or if you, you know, just want to uh, measure weather conditions around your location. Uh, this is a great little unit I picked up from Amazon. And I'm going to post the link to this product uh, on the video comments. And... Um, it's relatively very inexpensive. I think I picked this up. I've got a Prime subscription, so I picked it up for about $12, I think, with a couple of dollars of shipping. And I uh, just got it in uh, two or three days ago. But just wanted to give you a brief overview. And I can't remember the uh, manufacturer either. I'll try to get that in the video comments as well. But it's very simple to operate. You just power it on by holding the mode button a couple of seconds. You see it has a really nice backlit display. Some of the ones that are cheaper that you can get, you know, they have a kind of a really cheap uh, lighting uh, mechanism, you know, for a backlight. But uh, just a couple of things. This doesn't have too many bells and whistles, but one thing I really like, it's just really easy to operate it does exactly what I want it to do uh, it gives you temperature and your wind speed and if I blow into this because we have very very calm winds this morning as you can see you know it's very quick to pick up wind speed changes I you know there were quite a few comments on this product and most I think it has a four star rating currently and there were only a couple of negative comments that I saw and you know a couple of people said that it took a lot of wind to pick up any readings so far I have not seen that to be the case when I first got the unit in we had roughly you know gusts of five miles an hour it was one of those really calm humid sunny days so didn't have a lot of wind so it wasn't blowing constantly, but I noticed that it would pick up, you know, 0.3 miles an hour or, you know, 0.2 miles an hour wind, you know, when it truly was that. I mean, it was not a uh, wind that you could uh, really, truly feel, you know. Uh, so it, to me, I've not experienced the fact that, you know, it uh, does not pick up wind unless it's at a certain, you know, miles per hour. I looked at the specifications also this unit actually measures up to 65 miles an hour wind and you know i mean some may have the complaint that it doesn't measure higher than that but you know anything over 65 miles an hour if you're outside i mean you're not going to be flying in that anyway but uh, most likely you know that's not going to be something you're going to be standing out in wanting to measure wind speeds higher than that so 65 miles an hour for the mile per hour unit. You can also change this to kilometers per hour, knots per uh, uh, hour, a um, couple of others that I can't recall off the top of my head. Celsius and Fahrenheit readings, and that is pretty much it. It, it is a very inexpensive, uh, easy to use. Um, feels it, it, it is entirely plastic but it does not feel like you just can break it by you know holding it in your hand like some products you know you find that are very cheap so i'm looking forward to using this in my rc flying i think it's a great little thing to have uh, for under 15 dollars. i mean you can easily see and very accurately see what the wind is doing so uh that's it for now uh you guys stop back uh, on the channel or visit rcairspace.com. I'm trying to get some more content out there and just kind of give you posts of what I've been up to with my RC flying and uh, tips and tricks and things not to do that I've done that I wish I hadn't done. <laughs> so uh, anyway, take care, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the air soon.